Hey guys, YouTube, this is Green Valor, and today I'm going to talk about uh, a few subjects. Uh, Islam, Malcolm X, uh, and why I see progressives and why I actually think there's a big correlation between the two and why I think they're okay with Islam, regardless of all the regressive values in Islam, and why I think they support Malcolm X because of that in, in favor of, you know, Instead of, you know, Martin Luther King Jr., who is obviously the much better, much more respectable um, person in this case, the one who would unify the black and white communities rather than someone like Malcolm X, who seeks to divide the two and felt that a sort of uh, civil unrest was the best means and that blacks and whites could simply not live together in harmony. Uh, I did a bit of research into Malcolm X. I looked into his biography and of his past, and I didn't actually know he was Islamic. I didn't know he had gone on pilgrimage to Mecca and became a member of Islam because I don't know much about Malcolm X. I just know that people support him. I knew he had very radical views, and those radical views are the reason why I would not support him. I would support Martin Luther King Jr., the good reverend. Um, but it was very interesting because he was a member of a... I guess there were a, a sect of Islam in America called the Nation of Islam. And he was a part of that for a while until he found that their values were uh, regressive to actual Islamic values, much like the Westboro Baptist Church for Christianity. They, you know, they're condemned by Christians, the Westboro Baptist Church. Um, the same way the Nation of Islam is probably, you know, looked down upon by the other Islamic uh, religions. Or sex of Islam, so he left that in favor of more traditional Islam, and they didn't like that. In fact, his he was assassinated by three members of the Nation of Islam. So apostasy, he died from apostasy. They when he left the Nation of Islam, eventually was assassinated by three men, three men who were members of the Nation of Islam. The thing is, though, him being Islamic, and he was tasked to. Uh, to establish mosques in the United States, uh, areas like Detroit, there are a few other ones I don't have quite the memory of, but one of the cities was Detroit, he was tasked to establish his mosques, right? And I believe that this, this is very much why the progressives are in support of people like Malcolm X and in support of Islam, because it was a long time ago, like, when did these progressives start? Right around... Uh, let's say the 90s is when it really kicked off, right? And this was around the time I started hearing a lot about Malcolm X and a lot about Islam, right when these progressives started up. And the two had a very strong correlation. I believe Malcolm X is the reason that progressives are in support of him and they and Islam because they feed off each other. Uh, he was Islamic. He, he propagated Islam to his death. And I believe that's why those two are in correlation and he directly opposed Martin Luther King Jr. which is why now that I see progressives against uh, this man who is obviously the better one to unify the black and white communities I understand why they're in opposition of them because they support Malcolm X and Malcolm X opposed Martin Luther King Jr. He also opposed, opposed Kennedy and Kennedy was arguably the best president of the United States who was also assassinated because and now it's speculation, but I would argue that it's because he wouldn't take the corporate buyouts, and that's why he was assassinate, assassinated. Uh, there are many speculations as to why he was, but it was obvious that you listen to his speeches, and you're like, this guy is a great president. If only he had lived longer, if only he had served more terms, he would have done great things. And I feel the same about Martin Luther King Jr. If he was not assassinated, he would have gone on to do many great things. We would have seen... Uh, better relations between black and white communities if these two people had lived longer. I truly believe that. But this is just a video talking about Malcolm X and Islam and why I believe the progressives are in support of these two and why I believe they will never be in support of Martin Luther King Jr. because they wholeheartedly believe Malcolm X is right. That the black and white communities can never be in support of each other. When we look at groups like Black Lives Matter, they're very much in support of Malcolm X and they very much hate white people. And cops. Malcolm X hated white people and cops. I, they look at him as, 
like a messiah or something. And this is why the progressives have support of Islam, because Malcolm X supported Islam. I just think that this correlation isn't a coincidence. I think it makes a lot of sense in delving into the psyche of these progressives and why they believe that even though they're, they're, these are incredibly regressive things they believe, they believe they're right because this is what their, their prophet, their, he essentially is a prophet for the progressives. And this is why I believe that he's the reason why these progressives believe everything they do. This nation, and people would say, well, they are, they're also Marxists. And I don't quite, let me see if I can pull something in the biography. I'm pretty sure Malcolm X was a Marxist. I, I'm not, don't take my word for it, but X, let me, let me Google this, Malcolm X, Marxist, just to see, I'm pretty sure he was, but a socialist, uh, he's a black nationalism, and, well, he was definitely a socialist, okay, yeah, he was, he was in support of Marxism, <laughs> Yeah, this website's okay. So he was very much uh, Marxist slash Leninist. Oh, that would make sense. So he was uh, he was a Marxist. Um, so a lot of this makes sense now as to why the progressives believe the way they do in these power structures. And I believe Malcolm X may have been the catalyst to all of this. And I think I just discovered him later on and it's a it's a sort of stagnation of everybody's too comfortable there needs to be conflict it's the way human the human race has been forever whenever we've gotten too comfortable someone comes up with a new conflict a, a new issue and something new to divide us and in this case it was someone discovering Malcolm X who was the direct opposition of Martin Luther King Jr and I have a big problem with Malcolm X, and I have a big problem with people who believe that he was incorrect in what he was saying, what he believed in. Because the only result of following this man's belief system, this man's ideology, this man's train of thought is to divide communities, specifically the black and white communities, and I would argue for people uh, to find a new prophet, you know, to find someone else to support, to find some other hero, uh, because you're going down this route, he's motivated by hatred, everything I read about this guy, he's just the wrong end, you're never going to get people loving and caring for each other, you're never going to extinguish racism by inciting racism, by inciting violence and hatred towards another race, that's not how it is, and he, he's very much a black nationalist. But anyways, there were, those are my thoughts on Malcolm X and Islam and the progressives and why I believe the, all those are a correlation, why they're all together, why they sort of feed off each other, and why even though these things may seem like they don't belong together, they actually do in the mind of a progressive. That's all though. This has been Green Valor. The video is a little bit long, but it's okay. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you like the con content, and of course comment in the comment section because I do love suggestions and you guys have a good day.